there have been precursors to the Kriti format, the Kriti form of composition. Um, Carnatic music as we know it today is, um, is largely, it is defined by the work of the Mumurti or the Carnatic Trinity, Tyagaraja, Muthuswami Dikshidar and Shama Shastri. All three of them lived in the 18th century and they received as legacy many other compositional forms, musical works of their uh, predecessors. Beginning from some of the oldest composition forms that we have, uh, the Pashurams and the Tevarams, these are these are uh, clearly and uh, avowedly religious uh, co compositions. The Pashurams of Arvars are uh, hymns in praise of Vishnu. Uh, while the Tevarams are sung in praise of Shiva. Let us listen to one of these Pashurams. This is a, a very uh, well known uh, composition. Arvars are uh, assigned from the 5th century onwards, 6th century onwards, and this composition that you will be hearing is of uh, is, is a composition by Andal, part of a very famous set of songs called Tirupavai. And Andal is believed to have uh, lived and uh, sung in the 8th century. What we have today, uh, these compositions are sung in Carnatic concerts, but we do not have the original music of these compositions. We have the text, we have the song and um, these are set in tunes and uh, in fact right up to um, well, just little before whom I refer to the Tyagaraja, the Ekshidhar and Shama Shastri, right up to the 18th or 17th century, uh, we have very few compositions whose music has survived. We do have a few, but uh, by and large the music of those compositions has, is lost. Now, the composition you are going to hear, Kudare Vellum, Seer Govinda, this is uh, a composition, it is a song written, it is a poem written by, uh, sung by Andar. Andar was a devotee of Vishnu and this is sung in Puri Kalyani. Now, the set of Tirupaves, all these compositions were set to tune by uh, Arya Kudi Ramanuja Yangar in the uh, 20th century, in the first half of the 20th century and uh, these uh, songs are mostly or al almost always sung only in these ragas as he said them. So, let us listen to this and please see how you can, uh, what you think of the sections of the composition, whether you can make out uh, sections to the composition. <laughs> Ah, I'll 
without any sections. Even the song if you see it in on the screen right now, Kudare Vellum Shir Govinda Undane, Padi Pare Kundu, Yam Pirum Sammanam and so on, there is no there are no sections to the song. It's a set of eight lines. Uh, most Pashrams run to eight lines. Now the interesting thing about this and this is a legacy that uh, is uh, part of Carnatic music even today. It is what is called the Dvithi Akshara Prasha. Prasha is uh, alliteration. It is the repetition, the uh, consonants, the, the, the repetition of the same syllable or the same sound which makes for poetic effect. So, for instance, kang kana king kini nu pura dhuni suni. So here you have ka and then na. This is all prasha. This, this is a kind of a, a, a figure of a, a poetic uh, ornamentation, prasha. Or lalita lavanga lata parishilana kumala malaya samire. This is another very famous line from Jayadeva's Ashtapadi. So here the recurrence of la, that is, this is prasha. Now, musical compositions uh, obviously have to go easy on excessive uh, verbal ornamentation because then in that case uh, music, it will be difficult to keep up a certain level of the music. But prasha is very much a part of uh, Carnatic music compositions and in this case as you will see the Dviti Akshara, Dviti is second, Akshara is syllable. So the second syllable of each line is the same sound. In this case it is the Kudare Vellum, the second line Padi, third line is Nadu, fourth line is Chudagame and so on. This is a device that in Tamil is called Etugai and uh, Carnatic compositions almost all of them have this uh, Dvithi Akshara Prasha. Just to uh, give another example, this is another Tirupavai. Sitram Shirukkale Vandunnai Sevith Unputramare Adiye Potrum Porul Kedai. So here it is the the syllable tr almost which is made to which is repeated in the second position in each line petram me tunnum kulathil pirandini kutreval yengale kollamal pogada itrai pare kolvan andru kaan govinda Yetrekum yerior piravicum unda nodu Utro me avum unake nam archevum Matre nam kamangal matre lo rimpavai. So, this um, this uh, Dviti Aksha Prasha is a legacy of the 
Tamil literary tradition which uh, was adopted uh, into Carnatic music by all composers, uh, whether they composed in Telugu or uh, Malayalam or Sanskrit or Tamil. So, the significance of this uh, Dhriti Akshara Prasha as a device in composition is that it helps us demarcate the sections of a composition. Now, in a composition like uh, Tirupa Vedic, we just saw, it is the same syllable that is alliterated throughout and this suggests that there are no sections. This whole set of eight lines is just one song, it is just one section. The song is not divided into sections. If we look at this other composition, also fairly well known, it is uh, it was popularized by Srimati Amma Subbalakshmi. It is a composition of Annamacharya. Anamachara lived in the 15th century. We look at this composition, we see this Nanati Brathuku Natakamu Kanaka Kannadi Kaivalyamu. So here you see the first two lines have the Dutti Akshara Prasha of Na. The second syllable in lines of the first section is Na. I mean, this is the first charanam. And this, as you see, is a different structure. There is no Pallavi, Anupallavi, and charanam. There is Pallavi followed by charanams. This is a kind of composition called Kirtana. It is also called Pada. There is a first charanam you see Puttutayu Nijamu, Puvutayu Nijamu, Natta Nadi Mi Pani Natakamu, Yatta Neduta Galadi Prapanchamu, Katta Kada Patidi Kaivalyamu. So, here you see it is the Ta syllable which is which has prasha. So, that marks it out as a as another section and the second charanam you will see the prasha is on d da and the third charanam it is on the uh, the syllable ga is uh, recur recurs in the second position in each of these lines. So, this is the significance of the Dutti Akshara Prasha that it helps us identify sections uh, in these in compositions, especially older compositions. Of course, the meanings of the uh, of these lines would also help 
in demarcating sections, but structurally also there is this feature of Dvitiyakshara Prasha. So, Annamaya, Annamacharya was um, an important uh, Vagayakara. He lived in the 15th century and he wrote, he sang songs on Lord Venkateshwara of the of Thirumala. Legend has it that he composed one song every day of his life. And uh, there is a fascinating story of how his compositions were, descri uh, were, were discovered very recently after being uh, stowed away in a chamber in the Tirumala temple and for almost four to five centuries nobody knew where they were though the oral tradition uh, maintained the story of a, a, a treasure of compositions by Annamacharya. The compositions were not found until uh, they were found uh, a, f a few decades ago. Annamacharya is an important uh, Vagayakara who, whose compositions have left her uh, a, a deep impact on Carnatic music. Another very important figure also of the 15th century was Purandaradasa whom I have referred to earlier. Purandaradasa also has a fascinating story. Um, he, he was a very successful businessman and he was completely uh, obsessed with uh, material success and uh, being and just simply making money. And he, was, he was completely uh, wrapped up in the idea of uh, being a very successful businessman until a life changing event was supposed to have happened and he completely, uh, he, he spurned all his wealth and he took to a life of mendicancy. And uh, he's, his, he sang songs to his Purandara Vitella, the Vitella of Purandara. He, all his compositions have a reference to this deity. Purandara Dasa's contribution to Carnatic music is, has been enormous. Um, Purandara Dasa is regarded the Sangeeta Pitamaha, that is the grand sire of Carnatic music. Such has been his immense contribution. The Beginner's exercises that I have referred to earlier, what is called Abhyasagana, which consists of uh, a set of systematic exercises in the Maya Madhava Goddess scale. Um, these exercises, which are called Varisais, Sarali Varshe, Janta Varshe, and so on, uh, they are uh, these are the exercises that every beginner is exposed to. Is uh, the, every beginner is initiated into this music through these exercises and uh, these are not only very good for um, practice, this is in fact called Abhyasakana which means they are practice uh, exercises, but also um, they, they are a very good pedagogical tool. These exercises uh, impart basic skills and understanding of fundamental uh, ideas of Carnatic music. The concept of avartana, for instance, is very, very firmly imparted by these exercises. The concept of patterns of swaras, um, the alankaras, which in the Sula di Saptatana, which also we have seen earlier, all these are supposed to have been put in place by Purandara Dasa. Gitams, small songs simple songs. Uh, they have also been composed by Prindara Dasa. Uh, Shri Gananatha, for instance, in the Raga Malahari, every student of Carnatic music learns the song. Shri Gananatha, in Kunda Gaula, and then Padmanabha, all these compositions in the Raga Malahari. These also form the, uh, the, the part of the training of any uh, Carnatic uh, student. Shri Garna.
Purindaradasa belonged squarely in the what is called the Bhakti Sampradaya. He wandered from place to place after a life transforming experience. He gave up his, uh, his worldly pursuits and took to uh, singing the glory of Purindaravitala. And he wandered from place to place singing of the Lord. His songs also contain social comments, uh, social and religious reform, ideas for social and religious reform. And uh, like all bhakti saints, he sang his songs. There is both a poetic content and a musical content. And uh, Purandara Dasa was obviously also a very great musical mind. And uh, he has. Uh, so to say, given us a foundation for Carnatic music in these uh, exercises. So he is regarded as the Sangeeta Pitamaha. Now this composition of his is very, very, uh, very famous, very popular, very well known. Jagadu Dharana Adisi Dale Yashoda. Shoulder, 
जगदुरु Purandaradasa's compositions, he is supposed to have penned innumerable, many, many compositions. Uh, the music of these has not, has not survived. Um, and there is a wide range of uh, themes in his, in, his, in his compositions. There is, of course, the idea of singing the uh, glory of, of Purandaravitala, that is there. Um, the, the idea of the, in many of his compositions, he, he exhorts his own, himself and others to sing, to always utter the Lord's name. He says, Narajanma Bandage, Nalike Iruvage, Krishna Yena Bharade. As long you have the human birth, you have a human birth, you have a tongue, and why don't you just utter Krishna always? This is all, as, as I mentioned, very, very clearly Bhakti Sampradaya ideas. He has also talked about. Uh, the, in the composition I refer to Jagadot Dharana, he says that Yashoda, Yashoda plays with Krishna, he who is Jagadot Dharana, he who is the, the refuge of the whole world, of the whole universe, that Lord Yashoda plays with him. Anuraniyana Mahatomahiyana, he is smaller than the smallest of atoms. Mahato Mahiyana and he is greater than the greatest galaxy or greatest universe. That Purandaravitala, he who is manifested as Purandaravitala on this earth, that Krishna, Yashoda, plays with him. This, um, this is a very, as I said, uh, a composition that is that has been adopted into the Carnatic repertoire. Dancers also like to, dancers also use this composition to uh, perform what is called Abhinaya or mime. There are also ideas of um, social reform, of, of social command, as in this composition Dharma Shravana Videtake Murkhage Karma Nushthanam. Nisage Duruvasa, Dharma Diketake, Brahmana Janma. Dharma Shavana Videtake, Murkage, Dharma Shavana Videtake, Murkage, Dharma Shavana Videtake. says what is the point of a lofty birth of a birth in a high family 
if you are a fool when you are a fool what what does a fool understand of dharma of a of the high way of living it he says it's like showing a lamp to a blind man there is no point so also preaching dharma to a person who is incapable of absorbing it is even if he were to come from a very high family very lofty uh, family there is no point talking of dharma to such a person so the such ideas this is a rich variety of ideas in his uh, compositions his compositions are called padas actually dasara padas not only purandara dasara there are other uh, saints belonging to the same tradition which are in work they are called dasakutas and uh, many of them came up with uh, beautiful compositions for instance krishna ni megane baro is another composition that is uh, that has come from this tradition Uh, the com- composer is uh, vyasareya as i mentioned these compositions will be only only have the text of these compositions we don't have the music so later musicians contemporary musicians uh, set music to these pieces uh, and, and in the case of some uh, the uh, a particular tune is so closely associated with that song that nobody would uh, dream of wanting to set it in another uh, in any other kind of music i mean any other tune for instance jagadodharana or krishna ni begane baro jagadodharana is sung in kapi and uh, it would uh, and it's so closely associated with that song so also krishna ni begane baro is in yamuna kalyani because it's not uh, inconceivable and it's certainly not uh, unacceptable if somebody were to set this this composition to some other music but uh, the association is so so strong and these songs are so well loved the way they are sung so uh, very f- few would think of tinkering with the music another great vagyakara who left a great impact on uh, carnatic music in particularly it is said tyagaraja was bhadrachala ramadasa bhadrachala ramadasa lived in the 17th century and he was actually a, a, a government official and uh, he sang songs in praise of rama at bhadrachala now this is a composition of his the text of his composition ಏಮಯ್ಯ ರಾಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಾದುಲಕು ನೈನ ನೀಮಾಯ ತೆಲಿಯ ವಶಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯಾಕ್ಷರ ಪ್ರಾಶ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಚರಣ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸುತುಡನುಚು ದಶರಥುಡು ಹಿತುಡನುಚು ಸುಗ್ರೀಗುಡು ಅತಿ ಬಲುಂಡನುಚು ಕವುಲು ಕ್ಷಿತಿನಾಥುಡನುಚು ಭೂಪತುಲು ಕುಲಿಚಿರಿಗಾನಿ ಪತಿತ ಪಾವನುಡನುಚು ಮತಿ ತೆಲಿಯಲೇ ರೈರಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಶ ಆನ್ ತ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ rama is it possible even for indra brahma and other gods to comprehend your mysteries ni maya teliya vashama is it possible to understand your mysterious ways the most striking and most obvious uh, feature of all these kritis is their religious tone many of these composers as i said annamacharya purandaridasa bhadrachala ramadasa are venerated as saints even tyagaraja kriti the kriti form reached its zenith in the hands of in the compositions of the trinity tyagaraja dikshidara and shama shastri and uh, we will consider the work of 
these great Vagyakaras. Now, they received legacy, the legacy of the musical work of the Tamil Bhakti movement, the Tamil Bhakti uh, composers, the Arvars, the Nayanmars, the Tevarams, the Pashurams, and uh, also the uh, they, they, they inherited a legacy of compositions of Purandaradasa, Ramadasar and Andamacharya. We will take a detailed look at the three composers and their compositions. <laughs> 